The first mile gets it to us. The last mile is getting it to the customer's door and everything in between is the middle mile. So that's when Amazon takes ownership of the inventory. Yes. We put it in our own building. And then as we move it through fulfillment centers, sort centers, delivery stations, all the way to actually the post office for some of our shipments, that's the middle mile. The way you've described it is clear. Middle mile is the 80% of the supply chain. Yeah, so, and, and that's absolutely right. So certainly here at Huntsman, we, we're, we're about speed and those things too. And we, you talked about your, your network optimization. Can we talk a little bit about the middle mile and talk a little bit about some of the critical factors when you're working to optimize the middle mile, if you could talk about that a little bit? Absolutely, uh, I'd be happy to. So if you think about the basic supply chain, we'll call first mile suppliers getting their stuff to Amazon, whether you're a, an individual person who sells on with Amazon, you're one of our fulfillment by Amazon customers, or you're yeah. Procter and Gamble and you're shipping truckloads of material. The first mile gets it to us. The last mile is getting it to the customer's door and everything in between is the middle mile. So that's when Amazon takes ownership of the inventory. Yeah. We put it in our own building. And then as we move it through fulfillment centers, sort centers, delivery stations, all the way to actually the post office for some of our shipments, that's the middle mile. So what we're doing in middle mile is we're looking at everything from airplanes. You know, we fly 85 planes a day all over the world. We're opening a brand new air hub in Cincinnati in August that is going to rival the FedEx facility in Memphis or the UPS facility in Louisville. Um, this, this building, I think, is going to do over 150,000 packages an hour. Wow. So just let that let that sink in. So we're doing air network design. We're also doing ground transportation design. Now we have 40,000 53 foot trailers that you'll see the prime trucks on the road moving freight between our own buildings. And we have obviously airplanes that land and get unloaded onto trailers that then drive on the road yeah. all the way to getting things from when the customer orders them to the very last point before we give it to the customer. Maybe it's a delivery station or the post office. So we do network design, figuring out where to put our facilities, how many we need, how big are they gonna be, what kind of material handling equipment and robotics go in the building, how many people are gonna work there. And also most importantly, if you think about just a supply chain network, what is that building gonna be connected to in terms of what other, if you will, nodes in our network? What are the transportation arcs between I have a delivery center here in Easley, South Carolina. I have a fulfillment center in Charlotte, in Atlanta, in Columbia. So those will probably be connected. But I would never ship a package to California by going to New York, to Florida, to Minneapolis, to Texas, to California. I mean, that, those are silly, right? So we designed the network in its current state. But as we're looking to expand and open, you know, we open new buildings all the time. I think there's 12 of our latest and greatest uh, Generation 11 fulfillment centers coming online this year at you know, $300 million a building. We don't make those investments lightly without knowing where they're going to be, what they're going to handle, and how they're going to connect into the existing network and complement and add capacity, all in the name of when Peter Dill orders a package, he'd like to be pleased by getting it tomorrow. In some major cities, Peter can get it in two hours. And that's, that just blows me away. Uh, even in little old South Carolina here, my daughter actually ordered something two days ago and it came to her that night. And I told her, there's no way that's when you ordered it. Cause I couldn't believe it that South Carolina had same day, but she showed me the label. We tracked it from Charlotte to the delivery station. And sure enough, same day in South Carolina. So that, that was a pleasing me as an Amazon customer since 1998. Yes, I, I now work for the company and it gave me a smile. So a long winded answer, but that's what we're doing in middle mile is trying to figure out, how to move things most effectively, most efficiently, how to grow our capacity where we need to, such that when Ravi Katuria orders something and he sees on the screen, if you order in the next three hours, you're going to have it on this yes. day. That's our yes. promise to you. Yes. That darn it, we make that promise, if not earlier. Well, and I, I love what you said about re, re, uh, looking at the nodes and, and when you add a new resource to your network, whether it's a, a, a fulfillment center, those kind of things. 
that, that you can fulfill that promise. And oh, by the way, plug, I, I'm starting to get a new appreciation of this because my daughter drives one of those trucks right now and wears an Amazon. There unit. you go. Oh, wow. Learning a lot. There you go. Some other things, but it's interesting to learn. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I think that that's, that's the thing is we're, we're bringing in new people who want to be Amazon service providers. We're bringing in people who have their own transportation assets like a tractor and they haul our trailers for us. We're actually selling space on our trailers that aren't totally full to other people who want to move freight so we can sort of reduce the carbon footprint of transportation logistics by filling our trailers because the average trailer is like 35% full on the road. And you think about empty miles and all the emissions, and I won't even go into the electric delivery vans and all the other things we're doing. But yeah, that's, it's a very much a growing area and we're very, we're very pleased with where it's headed. Well, even, even I'm learning from her about I mean, I guess the Postal Service has been doing some. It's probably not a good comparison to Amazon, but just just the way that the uh, material is packed before she even gets it, so it's all set up for her route. So it's the most efficient that way, even mm -hmm. on a small level. So very very good. Thank you. Right. Mm -hmm. Sure. You know, Scott, I uh, th thank you for that uh, deeper, in depth view of Amazon because when Amazon started, you know, twenty years ago, our view as a consumer of Amazon was a great uh, e-commerce giant whose strength was the website, right? Because the mm -hmm. website allowed you, this was you know, new ground that was being broken in terms of internet. But today, as you, as you look at Amazon, the real strength is the, is the supply chain and logistics capability. And uh, mm -hmm. you're, you're working in the middle mile. I, from, from your description, you know, I, I had, I didn't really have a comprehension comprehension of what middle mile really was, but the way you have described it is clear. Middle mile is the eighty percent of the supply chain. Uh, that's mm -hmm. amazing to learn. I mean that that is fascinating to see how Amazon is is focused on that and building capability. I can see why it needs brilliant minds like you to join Amazon and continue to develop that. Um, well, and, 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 I, and I appreciate that. And if you think about it, as we expand around the globe, you know, we're just getting presences in India. We've been in yes. Germany and Italy and France and the UK for a while, but getting into Australia, moving, we just opened our new first fulfillment center in South America. As we start going global and getting on different continents, we still have to connect to those nodes by air, by other grounds. And in Europe, there's all different kinds of rules. Uh, for example, in the UK, you have to have attended delivery, which means somebody has to be at the house. They will not just leave the package like we do here in the States. Yes. Think about the logistics challenges of getting the last mile to deliver packages, but you know the person has to be home or you have to come back over and over. Mm -hmm. And yes. there's just so many, and, and different countries have different other privacy laws or yes. there's, it's just a fascinating uh, tangled web of things we're learning and trying to figure out. But again, all in the spirit of getting the customer what they want, delighting them with our performance, you know, and having that selection available to them. But absolutely, the, your point about it started out as being a website. It, it's eerie to look at a Jeff Bezos interview. I think it was from 1997, where he was talking about the internet is going to be the next big thing for shopping yes. and commerce. I mean, yes. it, it, it's, it's fascinating. He's actually from Houston, if y'all didn't know. I it's did not just know fascinating. That. Yeah, yeah. You, I would, I would really recommend you reading the Everything Store. That's like the story of Amazon. I did not write it, but it talks about him growing up in Houston, and a lot of the way we work at Amazon is based on his upbringing. But yeah, it's, it's fascinating that he, he said that almost 25 years ago, and, and it's actually become a reality. Well, if you, if you run into him, uh, I guess he's, he's retiring or stepping down from it. If you, <laughs> if you run into him somehow, somewhere, or you have his email, tell him the Houston Strategy Forum would like to host him. <laughs> so we can hear, hear his story from yeah. himself. <laughs> yeah. Tell him he has an I'll, open I'll invitation. Sure. <laughs> well, there, there are over a million Amazonians right now. Um, I don't think I'll run into him, but but I'll keep you in mind, Ravi. No, absolutely. <laughs> if you <laughs> if you happen to run into him, <laughs> Dr. Mason, among all the other things that you could talk to him about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. You have uh, my word, I'll, I'll try. Now, thank you, sir, I appreciate that.